The first basic stance of Aikido is Kamae. In Kamae, the right foot or left foot is facing forward in the Hami position. Kamae is not only a posture, but teaches the correct spirit of Aikido and shows the state of one's mind. If your Kamae is correct, then your mind is correct. The Kamae position is the same as if holding a sword in the Sega no Kamae posture. Let us now look at the Migi Hami Kamae position. Sliding forward with the right foot, which is followed by the left, the hands move into the Kamae position. The feet are positioned along the center line of the body at approximately one and a half shoulder widths apart. The toes are pointed outwards with the back foot slightly more angled than the front foot. The front knee is relaxed and the back leg is straight and strong. The weight distribution is 60 to 40 with 60% of the weight on the front leg and 40% on the back. The hand should be along the center line of the body with the top hand at chest level and the bottom hand in front of the stomach. The fingers should be stretched strongly and the elbow should be in the shape of a sword. The left hand should be one fist away from the body. The chin should be tucked in with the power in the neckline and the back is straight. Your concentration should be projected forward and you should be looking straight ahead. To return to a standing position, move from the back leg. For Hidari Hami Kamai, the movements are the same with the feet and the hands reversed. When doing Kamai with a partner, the movement should be controlled and in unison. The movement should start and finish together with a distance of six feet between the two partners. You should focus on your partner's eyes, but you must be able to see his whole body. If both partners have the same foot forward, it is I hum mi kamai. If both partners have the opposite foot forward, it is gyaku hum mi kamai. Say the whole, the way of sitting is a basic form of moving from Kamai to a sitting position in a strong concentrated manner. From Kamai, the hips move in a straight line down to the mat. The back knee is behind the heel of the front foot. Pull the front leg back so both knees are on the mat, while at the same time the hands move to a position on the hips with both toes up. Push forward by using the toes and hips and push your knees forward, then sit in seiza. In seiza, the distance between the knees is one fist. The left big toe is lightly crossed over the right. To return to a standing position, the hips are raised and the knees are pulled back with the toes up. The motions of returning to Komai are the reverse of moving from standing to sitting. The body must be strong and balanced throughout the movement with no movements to the side or forward. Don't let your concentration waver. When doing Seiza Ho with a partner, the movements must be in unison in a strong, concentrated manner. In preparing for Sawariwaza techniques, both partners shuffle in and move to the Seiza position together while maintaining the proper distance and correct attitude.
To have a strong kamai, seizoho, and basic movements, it is very important in Aikido to have a correct bow. During practice, reiho is a way of projecting your mind forward and showing respect to your partner. The bow is just as important as kamai, seizoho, and the basic movements. To perform the standing bow, keep the chin tucked in and the back straight. Bend forward from the hips without lowering the head. To perform a seated bow, tilt forward from the hips without curving the back. Place your hands in front of the knees and form a triangle with your fingers and thumbs. Perform the bow by bending your elbows and while keeping your back straight and not allowing your head to drop, bow to your partner. To return to seiza, straighten your elbows, then return to a sitting position while your hands naturally slide up your thighs to the seiza position. Shikoho is the basic way of moving on your knees and is used in sawariwaza techniques. If your shikoho is strong, you will be able to move in a sitting position freely and naturally, and it helps develop strong legs and hips. In Aikido, there are many sitting techniques in the basic curriculum. From a seated position with the toes up, the knee is pushed forward and then push you from the hips, push the trailing knee forward. The body faces forward and you must look straight ahead while moving forward with the knees pointing forward. The heels must stay together as you move and quickly pull the trailing leg as you move. Relax your shoulders and keep your hands on your hips. Don't move your hips up and down, but keep your weight down. When making a big step forward in Swadiwaza techniques, as your knee moves forward, kick strongly from your toes and hips and slide on your knees. When moving backwards, make small circles with your toes and don't lift your knees. This movement will help you improve your turning and pivoting motions in Suwariwaza. If you can perform smooth Suwariwaza techniques, it will become much easier to perform strong standing techniques. In Yoshinkan Aikido, different from other forms of Aikido, the most important movements are the six basic body movements. The basic movements of Yoshinkan Aikido were developed to teach the correct position of the body in relation to the basic techniques. By repeating the basic movements over and over, the legs and hips become very strong, yet relaxed and flexible. Then, when you practice the basic techniques of Yoshinkan Aikido, your hands, legs and hips are in the correct position and you'll be able to concentrate your power in your whole body. These six basic movements are very important in Yoshinkan Aikido and are the base from which we learn the basic techniques. Taino Henku Ichi is the basic movement used when the bottom hand is grasped and pulled. In practice, it teaches us to move from a kamai position strongly forward using the opponent's pulling power. If you observe this movement from the front, 
The hands move in a circular forward motion. If the movement is observed from the side, it is a sliding forward motion. The back foot moves in front of the front foot and continues moving in a diagonal direction forward with the toes sliding on the mat. The toes move in an S-shaped movement with the front foot moving forward and the back leg following the front. The front foot is pulled back along the same line to return to Kumai. The left hand moves in a circular motion to meet the right at chest level. Then both hands continue to move in a circular motion forwards. The hands finish with both hands palm up with the left hand at forehead height and the right hand at chest height. The eyes should follow the line of the left hand. The hands, legs and hips should all move in unison with both arms parallel. When doing Tai no Henkoichi with a partner, shuffle in together in Aiham Mi Kamai, and your partner grabs your bottom hand and pulls. As Uke pulls and moves diagonally backwards, Stay shuffles in. The back foot moves forward in an S movement diagonally and a forward angle and finishes between Uke's legs. The Uke should try not to clash with Stay during the movement, but should bend backwards. This movement, if done as a technique, becomes Sokumeni Riminage. Tai no Henko Ni is a basic movement used when Uke grabs the top hand and pushes. Tai no Henko Ni teaches a strong turning forward motion from Kamai. Although the pivoting motion can be at any angle, the pivot for Tai no Henko Ni is at 95 degrees, which is the smallest movement required to break Uke's balance. This movement is used for practicing a strong body position when turning. The front foot turns slightly and the back leg pivots 95 degrees in a large arc. The back foot slides along the mat with the back leg strong, ensuring that the hips stay square and do not overturn. To return to Komai, the back leg moves along the same line as the pivoting movement. The hands move in a circular motion, finishing in front of the body in line with the hips. Both hands should be palm up, with the top hand at the chest level and the bottom hand at the stomach. Even though this is a pivoting motion, the front knee must have a feeling of moving forward. To perform Tai no Henko Knee with a partner, the person performing the movement faces his partner in Hidari Gakuhami Kamai. Uke grabs Shite's left hand and pushes. Shite moves with Uke's push and performs a pivoting motion. Uke must keep contact with Shite's hand, and Uke must keep his elbow and shoulder relaxed. Uke moves diagonally forward as Shite pivots. To return to the starting position, Shite and Uke must move in unison. This movement becomes a technique as shown. Tai no Henko Renzoku Doza is a way of practicing body movement in a continuing motion. Shite turns 180 degrees with both legs strong, finishing in a Gyakuhami position. Shite then cross steps back and performs the other side. This movement is practiced with both sides continuously. Tai no Henko Kaiten Dosa is a movement where Shite performs a 180 degree pivot 
shuffles to the side, steps under Uke's arm and cross steps back to face Uke in the opposite kamae. This movement is also performed continuously. Hirikine Yosei is a basic movement representative of raising the sword and cutting with the returning motion. As the body moves forward, the sword is raised, and as the body moves back, the sword cuts. This movement practices using the breath, hands, and hips and legs in one in a strong concentrated movement. Moving forward from the front foot, the foot slides forward with the knee finishing in front of the toes. The back leg follows the front leg so the weight is forward. To return to Kamai, the back leg pulls back first without raising the heel and the front foot is pulled back to a strong Kamai. The front knee should be strong yet flexible with the body weight forward. The back leg should be strong with the knee straight. The hands are raised along the center line of the body in a circular motion with the fingers spread. The top hand is slightly diagonal at forehead level and the bottom hand is at nose level. To perform this movement with a partner, Uke moves to a gyakuhami position facing shite on an angle. Uke grabs strongly with the left hand palm up and the right hand palm down. The hands should be equally strong. As shite raises his hands, Uke releases his left hand but stays in contact with shite's elbow. The right hand should continue to grasp strongly. Uke should move in unison with shite's power, both forward and backwards from a strong kamae. Hirikine Yosei Ni is the basic movement for learning how to transfer the body weight from one leg to the other while raising and lowering the hands. To prepare for the Hirikine Yosei movement, turn from Kamae on the toes and slide the front foot forward so that your body moves forward and down. At the same time, your left hand is in Kamai and the right hand moves beside the right hip. When shifting your weight, turn on your toes while keeping the hips on the same level. The knees move in a circular motion. The movement of transferring your weight and turning your hips must be in unison. The hands circle up in unison with the hip movement. When the hands are raised, it is the same as Hirikine Yosei The hands, legs, hips must move in unison. When practicing this movement with a partner, the uke grasps Shite's arm as in Hirikine Yosei When Shite shifts his weight down and forward, uke follows. When Shite shifts his weight back and forth, Uke must also shift his weight. When the hands are lowered, Uke looks at the back of Shite's head, and when the hands are raised, Uke looks at Shite's hands. Ikinayose ni is used in this way in the technique. The Shumatsudosa movement has a strong relation with the Shihonage technique. This movement represents raising a sword and turning in four directions, which is the first basic technique of Yoshinkan Aikido. This is a way of practicing smooth, continuing movement from one position to another.
Sliding forward on an angle, the body is lowered. The back foot then makes a big sliding movement straight forward and the body moves even lower. The weight then shifts to the other leg and the former front foot is pulled strongly into the Kamai position. Moving forward from the front foot, the body moves into a strong low posture. Both hands move in unison with the forward movement, finishing in front of the body and at chest height. The elbows are pointing down and the palms of the hand are slightly angled downwards. As the back foot moves forward, the hands circle up to the forehead in unison with the movement of the body. As you shift your weight, the hands are raised over your head shoulder width apart. As the front foot moves forward, the hands cut down to shoulder height, then return to Kumai. The whole body moves from a high position to a low position, to a high position, then back to a low position, creating a strong flowing forward movement. When doing this movement with a partner, start from Aihami Kamai. This practice is to unify Shite and Uke's key power. Uke grabs Shite's hands parallel from the front. Shite and Uke move together, and Uke tries not to interfere with Shite's movement and power. The Shumatsu Dosa movement is used in the Shihonage technique. Shumatsu Dosa Ni is a turning motion related to when your opponent grabs your hands and pushes. Turning on the front foot, the back foot pivots strongly 180 degrees. When shifting your weight, the back leg is strongly pulled into Kumai position, then the front foot moves strongly forward, then returns to Kumai. The hands move in a circular movement. The top hand becomes the bottom hand, and the bottom hand becomes the top hand. The top hand is at forehead height and the bottom hand is palm up at chest height. Both hands move together to a raised position then cut down to shoulder height. The whole body moves from a high position into a low position, then a high position, then back to a low position, creating a strong flowing movement. When doing this movement with a partner, start from Yakuhami Komai. Uke grabs as in Shumatsu Dose Echi. Uke moves in such a way as not to interfere with Shite's movement. The hand which moves to the forehead must be inside Uke's hand for Shite's movement.
This movement becomes the basic shihonage technique as in shumatsu dosa ichi. Kihon Dosa Renzoku is a way of practicing all six basic movements in a continuing motion, usually in accordance with a counting motion or cadence. The movements of Aikido are based on the sword. If you do the Kihon Dosa Renzoku with a sword, the movements become like a sword movement. Ukemi is a way of protecting your body when thrown. You must learn to minimize the shock to your body. In Yoshinkan Aikido, the basic ukemi are zenpo or forward ukemi and koho or backward ukemi. Koho ukemi is a basic breakfall of Yoshinkan Aikido. It teaches us to protect the most important part of our body, our head. From a standing position, lower the hips. The hands are in a position ready to slap the mat. The rear end is placed close to the heels and the back is curved when rolling back onto the mat. At the same time, slap the mat strongly with your hands. If you practice koho wakemi repeatedly, your neck and stomach muscles will become stronger. Koho wakemi is used when practicing the shihonage and iriminage techniques. For iriminage techniques, you take a step in the direction you will be thrown and sit down next to your foot. As you hit the mat, turn away from shite, then stand up. For shihonage techniques, when you are thrown, drop your hips, then do a koho ukemi. To perform koho kaiten ukemi, you step back and the hand in relation to the foot that steps back is extended. Sit down close to your heels and roll backwards. The front foot becomes the straight as you roll, then stand up. There are two ways to perform Zenpo Ukemi, the basic Zenpo Ukemi and the Hiyaku Zenpo Ukemi. Zenpo Ukemi is performed by placing your fist on the mat in front of the feet. Kick upwards with your body and roll along the mat. 
Your body follows a diagonal line from one shoulder to the opposite hip and finish the roll by hitting the mat strongly. Zenpo Hyaku Okemi doesn't place a hand on the mat as in Zenpo Okemi. Bent forward and kicking strongly from the front foot, jump directly upwards and land on the mat as in Zenpo Okemi. One way of practicing Zenpo Hyaku Okemi is to jump over a horse. Grab just under the horse's armpit, let your head naturally fall forward and jump and perform the okemi. When you have more confidence in your okemi ability, try jumping over a horse without grasping. Zenpo Hyaku Okemi is used in techniques like Kutigaishi, Hijiati Kokinage, and others. Shihonage is a technical representation of raising a sword and cutting in four directions. The opponent's arm is folded back into his shoulder, allowing the opponent to be controlled and thrown backwards. This technique is used when Uke grabs Shite's hand and pulls. From Migi Ai Hami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in together and Uke grabs Shite's left hand with his right hand pulls. Shite strikes Uke's face with his right back fist. As Shite moves diagonally forward, he grabs Uke's hand with his right. Stepping forward with his back foot, Shite raises his hands to his forehead. Shite then shifts his weight and folds Uke's arm in a circular motion to Uke's shoulder. Shite slides forward, throws Uke to the mat. Shite controls Uke's shoulder and prepares to strike Uke's head with a left tegatana. The technique is completed with the tegatana strike to Uke's head. To for the back fist, raise your hand to the height of your eye and use the power of your hips to strike Uke's face. Sliding forward with the right foot, strongly control Uke's body by curling your left hand by his baby fingers. At the end of this movement, the right hand lightly grasps Uke's hand. As you step forward with the back foot, both hands circle up to the forehead. As you shift your weight from one leg to the other, the back foot pulls into Kamai position as you fold Uke's arm to his shoulder. At this point, the hand is at chest height and the thumb and index finger are extended, grasping the back of Uke's hand with three fingers. As you slide forward and control Uke to the mat, quickly pull your back foot forward, ensure to control Uke's elbow and shoulder, and your left hand moves to your forehead to strike Uke's face. Shihonage is not a twisting motion of Uke's arm to control, but using Uke's power to throw himself easily by using a flexible movement with a strong shifting position.
In this technique, Uke grabs Sei's wrist and pushes. Uke is controlled by using the Shihonage technique. From Hidarigakuhami Kamai, Stei and Uke shuffle in. Uke grabs Stei's left hand with his right and pushes. Stei pivots on his left leg 180 degrees to the rear while lifting his hands to the forehead. Stei then shifts his weight as he folds Uke's arm into Uke's shoulder. Sliding forward, Stei throws Uke to the mat. Controlling Uke's arm, strike with a tegatana to Uke's head. Turn on the left foot 180 degrees and allow the body to go very low as the left hand turns in such a way to push Uke's elbow up. The hands must meet at the forehead. After shifting strongly, pull your back foot to Kamai, then shuffle forward, throwing Uke to the mat. Control Uke's arm and apply a temi. This technique is used when Uke grabs both Shtei's hands and pulls. From Migiai Hami Kamai, Shtei and Uke shuffle in together and Shtei offers both hands. Uke grabs Shtei's hands and pulls. Sliding diagonally forward, Shtei grabs Uke's right hand. Stepping forward from the back foot, he raises his hands to the forehead. Shtei shifts his weight as, Uke, as Shtei folds Uke's arm into Uke's shoulder. Sliding forward once more, he throws Uke to the mat, controls the arm and applies a Tegatana strike. Shtei offers both hands at chest height. As Shtei moves forward, Shtei grabs Uke's right hand. As Shtei step, makes a big step forward with his back foot, Shtei's hands are raised to the forehead. Shtei then shifts his weight, controlling Uke's shoulder, and throws Uke to the mat, controls the shoulder, and applies an atemi. This shihonage technique is used when Uke grabs both of Shtei's hands and pushes. From Hitari Gakuhami Kamai, Shtei and Uke shuffle in together and Uke grabs Shtei's hands and pushes. 
Stay pivots on the front leg 180 degrees to the rear as both hands raise to the forehead. Stay shifts his weight to the back and controls Uke's arm into the shoulder. Moving forward throws Uke's to the mat, controls the shoulder and applies an atemi. Stay offers both hands as in Rotemochi Shihonage Echi. Moving with Uke's push, Stay pivots 180 degrees on the rear leg while at the same time raises his hands letting Uke's power go up. Stay then shifts his weight and controls Uke's arm and throws Uke to the mat, then delivers an atemi. This shihonage technique is used when uke strikes with a side strike. From Ayahami Kamai, Shte and Uke shuffle in and Uke strikes with a left hand side strike. Moving with Uke strike, Shte blocks Uke strike with a left hand while delivering a right back fist in conjunction with a pivoting motion to the rear. Shte moves diagonally forward. Shte then makes a big step forward with the back foot while raising his hands. Shte then shifts his weight while folding Uke's arm into his shoulder. Shte then throws Uke to the mat, controls his shoulder and delivers an atemi. Shte and Uke lift their arms at the same time. As Uke strikes, Shte's left hand blocks and controls Uke's strikes to chest height, while at the same time striking with the right back fist. Shte moves diagonally forward while opening his body and giving his left hand to guide Uke's strike. Then the right hand grabs with the thumb at Uke's pulse point. This movement is used to break Uke's balance. Shte takes a big step forward with the back foot while at the same time raising the hands. Shte shifts and controls Uke's shoulder then throws him to the mat and delivers an atemi. When doing this technique, Shte should not concentrate on Uke's hand but should keep his whole concentration and focus forward on Uke's face. This technique is used when Uke strikes with a Yokomen strike and Shte blocks diagonally forward and then throws Uke with a pivoting and shifting Shihonage technique. From Hidari Gyakohami Kamai, Shte moves diagonally forward and blocks Uke's Yokomen strike. Pivoting to the rear, Shte raises his hands, shifts his weight, and then throws Uke to the mat and applies a temi. Shte and Uke lift their hands together and Shte moves diagonally forward and blocks Uke's strike at chest height. Shte shifts 180 to the rear while raising Uke's hand to his forehead. Shte shifts his weight and controls Uke's arm and then throws Uke to the mat. 
She then applies the strike to Atemi's head. When blocking the Yokonuchi strike, Shite should not concentrate on Nuke's hand, but look in the direction of his punch. When Uke attacks with a front strike, Shite controls his strike, pivots, and uses the Shihonage technique to control Uke to the mat. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in, Uke strikes with a front strike. Shite blocks Uke's strike with an inside block and pivots diagonally forward and grasps Uke's hands with both hands. As Shite crosses forward, he raises his hands, lifts his weight, controls Uke's arm, shuffles forward and throws Uke to the mat. Shite then controls Uke's arm and applies an atemi. Shite controls Uke's strike with his right hand and circles his right arm to chest height while keeping contact with Uke's arm. He grabs Uke's arm with his left hand and moves diagonally forward. The hands at this point move as in Yokomunuchi Shihonage. Shite then takes a big cross step forward and raises his hands to forehead height. Shite shifts his weight while controlling Uke's arm and shoulder and then throws Uke to the mat then applies an atemi. As in Yokomanuchi Shihonage, always keep your focus on uke. This shihonage technique is used when Shite is sitting in Seiza and Uke grabs Shite's hand and pulls. From Aihami Kamai, Shite shuffles and performs Seiza Ho to the Seiza position. Uke moves diagonally from the front and grabs Shite's hand and pulls. Using the Shikoho movement, Shite slides forward while at the same time grasps Uke's wrist. Shite raises his arms while tilting backwards. Shite then turns on his toes to the rear and controls Uke's arm into his shoulder and throws Uke to the mat. Shite then controls Uke's shoulder and delivers an Atemi strike. Uke moves on a 45 degree diagonal from the front and grasps Shite's wrist. Using the Shikoho movement, Shite moves one third of the distance between Shite and Uke while at the same time Shite's left hand moves in a circular movement finishing at chest level and at the same time grabbing with the right hand. Using the power of the hips, Shite raises both hands and breaks Uke's balance. Shifting on the toes, Shite shifts his weight to the rear while controlling Uke's arm into his shoulder. Shite shuffles forward with his right knee and throws Uke to the mat while pulling his left knee strongly forward. When Uke falls to the mat, Uke's hand should be beside Shite's right knee. Then control Uke's arm and apply a temi. During this technique, it is important to make sure that the hips move correctly. Don't lose control with Uke's hand and perform a correct shikoho movement.
This shihonage technique is used when Shite is sitting in Seiza and Uke grasps Shite's wrist and pushes. This technique begins the same as the number one technique. Uke moves diagonally from the front and grabs Shite's wrist and pushes. Shite pivots to the rear on the same knee as the hand that is being grabbed while at the same time circling his left hand to shoulder height, while extending Uke's elbow and keeping contact with Uke's wrist. Shite then shifts his weight, as in the number one technique, controls Uke's shoulder, takes Uke to the mat, and applies an atemi. The raising of the arms and hip movement and leaning to the rear and control in Uke's arm are the same movements as in the number one technique. It is important not to move the knee that you are pivoting on. This technique is used when Shite is sitting in Seiza and Uke is standing and grabbing Shite's both hands and pulling. Shite shuffles in and performs the seiza. Uke shuffles in and grabs both Shite's hands from the front and pulls. Shite lifts his knee closest to Uke as if to stand up, while his hands move to a ready position at chest height. Shite then stands straight up while raising his arms. Shite steps back with the back leg and controls Uke's arm into his shoulder. Shite cross steps forward with his back leg and throws Uke to the mat. Shite controls Uke's arm and delivers an atemi strike. Shite should place both his hands just above his knees on his thighs. Uke grabs both Shite's wrists and pulls. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite slides forward one-third of the distance and lifts his knee closest to Uke while at the same time pulling his back knee forward. Shite's hands should be in front of his body. Sliding forward on the left foot, Shite moves to a standing position and pulls the right foot into Kumai while at the same time circling both hands up to a position above Shite's forehead. Pivoting on the front foot, the back foot steps back into a low body position while controlling Uke's arm into his shoulder. Without raising the hips, cross step forward with the right leg taking Uke through the mat while quickly pulling the left leg forward. Control Uke's arm and apply an atemi. This technique is used for practicing the shifting of the weight while moving into a standing position. Shihonage Kazushi is an advanced variation of the Shihonage technique where Uke's upper body is put into a position that can be compared to a bow shape and then while locking the shoulder and extending Uke's arm, use a sword cutting motion to throw Uke to the ground.
Ikajo Osai is a technique where we control Uke's body through control of Uke's elbow joint. In Ikajo, we try to control Uke's hand, elbow, and shoulder. This technique practices the principles of raising the sword, cutting down with the sword, and entering. Also, it shows how to practice the correct distance between opponents and how to apply hip power in our techniques. It is a basic form for controlling techniques that continues with techniques such as Nikajo, Sankajo, and Yonkajo. In this technique, Shite strikes Aiduke's head with a front strike and uses the Ikajo technique to control Uke's whole body to the mat. From Aihami Kamae, Shite Nuke shuffling and Shite strikes Uke's forehead, cuts down, moves his body to control Uke, and finishes by pinning Uke's arm to the mat. Shite lifts both hands and strikes to Uke's head with his right hand. Uke blocks with his right hand. Shite's left hand grabs Uke's elbow from the bottom. As in Shu Matsudosa Ichi, the right leg moves diagonally forward while circling Uke's arm down. The back foot cross steps forward in the direction of Uke's armpit while Shite keeps Uke's arm in front of his body. The back foot cross steps forward again while taking Uke to the mat. The left knee is in Uke's armpit. The right knee is beside Shite's thumb. The hands and knees are used to control Uke's elbow and the back is extended and the hips move down to control Uke's arm. The control is achieved by breathing out and using the power of the whole body and not just the arms. This is the same technique but practiced from a sawariwaza position or sitting position. From Aiham Mikamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in together and perform Seiza hold to a sitting position. As in the standee technique, Shite strikes Uke's head and moves his right knee forward and cuts Uke's arm down. Shite then steps in with his left knee, then right, completely controlling Uke's body to the ground and pins with the Ikajo technique. Shite and Uke both must control their feelings and not lose their concentration during the Seiza whole movement. When Shite performs the front strike, he should come up onto his toes. The right knee moves diagonally forward with the Shikoho movement. The left knee moves forward in the direction of Uke's armpit. Then the right knee moves forward, control Uke's arm, and control with the Ikajo Osai pin. In this technique, Uke strikes with a front strike and Shite blocks, then pivots 180 degrees to the rear, shifts his weight, and controls Uke to the mat with the Ikajo Osai technique. From Hidari Gakuhami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in, Uke strikes. Shite blocks, then pivots 180 degrees to the rear while breaking Uke's balance. Shite shifts his weight and controls Uke to the mat, puts the right knee down with the arm, and controls Uke with the Ikajo Osai pin. Shite must keep his weight strongly forward on the front leg, and when blocking, the left hand is under Uke's elbow. Shite pivots on the front leg to the rear while cutting down on Uke's arm in a circular motion. As you cut down on Uke's arm, you grab Uke's wrist.
Stay shifts his weight and pulls his left knee into Uke's armpit. Put your right knee down on the tatami with the right hand and pin Uke. This is the same technique as standing, but Shte and Uke perform the technique from a seated position. Starting from Migi Aihomi Kamai, Shte and Uke shuffle in together and perform Seizoho. Shte blocks Uke's strike and pivots on his left knee and controls Uke to the mat with the Ikajosai technique. When striking, Uke comes up on his toes and while blocking, Shte also comes up on his toes. Shte pivots 270 degrees to the rear while circling Uke's arm down to the mat, then controls Uke's elbow and wrist and applies the Ikajo Osai pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled using the Ikajo Osai technique when striking with a yokomunuchi or side strike. From Migiai Hamikamai, Shte and Uke shuffle in, Uke strikes from the side and Shte shifts and blocks. Shte crosses his right hand over his left and cuts Uke's arm down as he shuffles forward. Shte then steps forward with his left foot, then right, and controls Uke to the mat with the Ikajo Osai technique. Shte lifts his hands at the same time as Uke, turning his body as he blocks Uke's strike with his left hand at shoulder height while striking Uke's face with his right back fist. Shte crosses his right hand over and cuts Uke's arm down in a circular motion. As Shte cuts his left hand, moves to Uke's elbow, and at the finish of this motion, Shte should grab Uke's width with his right hand. Shte steps in towards Uke's armpit with the left leg, then steps again with the right leg, taking Uke to the mat. Shte then puts Uke's arm on the mat and pins with the Ikajo Osai. This is the same technique, but performed from a sitting position. From Migiai Hamikamai, Shte and Uke shuffle in and perform Seizoho together. Uke strikes with a side strike with his right hand, Shte blocks. Shte crosses his right hand over and cuts Uke's down in a circular motion. Shte moves his left knee forward towards Uke's armpit and then his right and puts Uke's arm on the mat and applies the Ikajo Osai. Uke comes up on his toes as he strikes. Shte moves his left knee diagonally backwards while he blocks with his left hand at shoulder height. Shte crosses his right hand over and moves his right knee forward as he cuts down Uke's arm. Shte then moves his left knee forward towards Uke's armpit and his right knee, places Uke's arm on the mat, controls the wrist and elbow and applies the Ikajo pin.
In this technique, Aizuke strikes with the Yokomenuchi strike, Shite blocks, and uses a pivoting and shifting motion to control Uke to the mat with the Ikajo technique. From Hidari Gakohami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffling together, Uke strikes, Shite moves diagonally forward and blocks. Shite crosses his right hand over and pivots to the rear 180 degrees while breaking Uke's balance and shifting, taking Uke to the mat. Puts the right knee on the mat and controls Uke's arm with the Ikajo pin. Shite lifts his hands at the same time as Uke. As Uke strikes, Shite moves diagonally forward to the left and blocks Uke's strike with his left hand at shoulder height while applying a back fist atemi to Uke's face. Shite crosses his right hand over and while pivoting to the rear 180 degrees, he controls Uke's arm to break his balance. He shifts his weight and puts his left knee on the tatami, puts his right knee down with the time with the arm and applies the ikajo pin. This is the same technique, but is performed from a sitting position. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in together and perform Seizoho. As Uke strikes with his right hand, Shite moves diagonally forward to the left and blocks. Shite crosses the hand over and pivots 270 degrees to the rear while controlling Uke to the mat and applies the Ikajo pin. Shite moves his left knee diagonally forward while blocking with his left hand at shoulder height and his right hand applies a back fist at temi to Uke's face. Shite crosses his right hand and pivots on his left knee 270 degrees while taking Uke to the mat in a circular motion then applies the Ikajo pin. This technique is used when Uke grasps Shite's wrist and pulls. Shite controls Uke with the Ikajo technique. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and Uke grabs Shite's left wrist and pulls. Shite shifts with Uke's pull and applies a temi. Shuffles forward and raises his hands, shuffles forwards and cuts down, breaks the grip, cross steps forward with the back leg, cross steps again with the back leg and applies the Ikajo Osai pin. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite shifts with his back leg in a circular motion. The left hand moves with the back leg as Shite applies an atemi with his right back fist. The left hand moves outside of Uke's wrist in a rising circular motion. As the hand reaches the top of the arc, Shite's right hand grasps Uke's wrist. As Shite moves forward, the left hand circles down, cutting against Uke's arm. Shite shuffles forward once more to break Uke's grip with the left hand while controlling Uke's right hand. Shite steps forward with the back leg in the direction of Uke's armpit. Stepping forward again takes Uke to the mat. Shite's right knee and Uke's arm move to the mat together. Shite's right hand should be on the back of Uke's hand. To apply the pin, Shite's right hand moves towards Uke's shoulder and the left hand pushes on Uke's elbow towards Shite's right hand. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position.
from Migi Ahami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffling together and perform Seizo Ho. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite moves his left knee and left hand while applying a temper with his right hand. Shite circles his left hand up and cuts Uke's arm down. Releases Uke's grip, steps forward towards Uke's armpit with his left knee, then the right, and puts Uke's arm on the mat and applies the Ikajo pin. Shite moves his left arm in a circular motion while applying an atemi. As in the standing technique, Shite moves forward as he cuts Uke's arm down, moves forward again to break Uke's grip. He moves the left knee forward, then the right knee, puts Uke's arm on the mat, and while controlling Uke's wrist and elbow, applies the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai by using a turning and shifting motion when Uke grabs Shite's wrist and pushes. From Hidari Gakohami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffling together, Uke grabs Shite's left hand with his right and pushes. Shite moves to the side while applying a temi, pivots while he raises his hands, pivots 180 degrees to the rear and shifts his weight, taking Uke to the mat, then applies the Ikajo pin. Moving with Uke's push, Shite moves his body to the left as he applies a right atemi. Pivoting 45 degrees, he circles Uke's arm up to break his balance. Pivoting 180 degrees to the rear, he breaks Uke's balance more, shifts his weight, takes Uke to the mat, controls Uke's arm to the mat, and applies the Ikajo pin. This is the same technique, but performed from a sitting position. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in together and perform Seiza Ho. Uke grabs Shite's left wrist with his right hand and pushes. Moving with Uke's push, moves to the left, applies an atemi, raises his hands, pivots 270 degrees to the rear, takes Uke to the mat, controls the wrist and elbow, and pins Uke. As Shite moves with Uke's push, he comes up on his toes and applies an atemi. Shite pivots 45 degrees while raising his left hand and breaking Uke's balance, pivots 270 degrees to the rear and takes Uke to the mat, controls Uke's arm and pins. In this technique, Uke is controlled with Ikajo Osai when he grasps both of Shite's wrists and pulls. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in while Shite offers both hands at chest height. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite shifts to the side, raises his hands and cuts down. Breaks Uke's grip, steps forward from the back leg, steps forward again, takes Uke to the mat and applies the Ikajo pin. Shite offers both hands at chest height. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite shifts to the left. The left hand is in the same position as Katate Mochi Ikajo Saichi, while the right hand extends in the direction of the thumb to control Uke's elbow. While shuffling forward, the left hand moves outside of Uke's wrist in a circular raising motion, while the right hand comes to meet the left. The right hand grasps Uke's hand at the finish of the arc. Keeping contact with Uke's hand, Shite shuffles forward and cuts down, breaks Uke's grip, back leg steps forward in the direction of Uke's armpit, the back leg moves forward again, taking Uke to the mat, put the arm down, and apply the Ikajo pin.
This is the same technique, but performed from a sitting position. From Migiai Hami Kamai, Shite Inuke shuffle in and perform Seiza Ho. Shite offers both hands at chest height, Uke grass and pulls. Shite moves with Uke's pull with both hands. Moves forward, raises the hands. Moves forward, cuts down. Breaks Uke's grip. Moves forward with the left knee. Then the right. Places Uke's arm on the mat and performs the Osai. The hands move the same as in the standing te technique with Uke's pull. Move forward, raise the hands. Move forward again and cut down. Break Uke's grip. The left knee moves in the direction of Uke's armpit. Then the right knee moves forward. Place Uke's arm on the mat, control the wrist and elbow, and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ika Joasai using a shifting and turning pivoting motion when he grabs Shite's wrists and pushes. From Hidari Gekko Hamikamai, Shite Uke shuffle in, Shite offers both hands. Move to the side, raises the hands, pivots, shifts the weight and take Uke to the mat, puts the arm down and applies the Ikajo pin. As in the number one technique, Shite offers both hands at chest height. Moving with Uke's push, Shite moves both hands and body to the side. Raise the hands, pivot 180 degrees, shift the body taking Uke to the mat, break the grip, Put the right knee and the hand down and apply the Ikajo pin. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position. From Migye Hami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and perform Seizo Ho. Shite offers both hands and Uke grabs and pushes. Moving with Uke's push to the side, Shite moves, raises the hands, pivots on the knee 270 degrees to the back, controls Uke to the mat, puts the arm on the ground, and controls Uke with the Ikajo pin. Moving with the push, Shite moves his left knee and both hands to the side. Pivoting to the rear, circles Uke's hand up, Pivoting on the left knee 270 degrees to the taking Uke to the mat, put the arm down on the mat and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai when he grasps Shite's elbow from the top and pulls. From Migiai Hami Kamai, shuffle in, Uke grabs Shite's elbow from on top with his right hand and pulls. Shite moves in a circular motion while applying a temi, lifts the arm, moves forward, cuts down, crossed his forward with the left foot, crossed his forward with the right foot, puts Uke's arm on the mat, and controls and pins with Ikajo side.
Uke grabs Shite's elbow from on top and pulls. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite moves in a circular motion while applying a right atemi with his right back fist. Shite grabs Uke's hand, keeps in contact, moves forward and cuts Uke's arm up. Moving forward, Shite cuts his left arm down. Moving forward from the back leg, Shite moves in the direction of Uke's armpit and breaks Uke's grip and Shite's left hand moves to Uke's elbow. Moving backward from the back leg again, take Uke to the mat, put the arm on the tatami and apply the ikajo pin. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and perform Seizaho. As in the standing technique, Uke grabs Shite's elbow from the top and pulls. Move with the move to the side, move forward, slide your arm up Uke's elbow, shuffle forward and cut down. Step in with the left knee, grab Uke's elbow with your left hand, move the right knee forward, place the arm on the mat and apply the Ikajo pin. Shite moves his left knee and left arm with Uke's pull as he applies an atemi with his right back fist. Shite grabs Uke's hand and keeps it in contact with his elbow as he moves forward and slides up Uke's arm. Move his right knee forward, he cuts down. Moves his left knee forward in the direction of Uke's armpit as he breaks Uke's grip and grabs the elbow. Place the arm on the tatami and apply the ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo side technique with a pivoting and turning movement when he grabs Shite's elbow from the top and pushes. From Hidari Gakuhami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in, Uke grabs Shite's elbow and pushes, moves to the side, a punch. Pivot 45 degrees as you cut up the elbow, pivot 180 degrees to break Uke's balance and shift, taking Uke to the mat, break the grip, put the knee and the arm on the ground and perform the pin. Uke grabs Shite's elbow as in the number one technique and pushes. Moving with Uke's push, Shite moves to the side and applies an atemi. Shite slides his left hand up Uke's arm, pivots 180 degrees while breaking Uke's balance, shifts taking Uke to the mat, breaks Uke's grip, puts the right knee and arm down, and applies the ikajo pin. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position. From Mige Hami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and perform Seizaho. Uke grabs Shite's left elbow and pushes, Shite moves to the side while applying an atemi. Pivots 45 degrees while cutting up Uke's arm, Shite pivots 270 degrees while taking Uke to the mat, break the grip, put the elbow on the mat and apply the pin. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite moves his left knee and left hand to the side while applying an atemi. 
Ste grabs Uke's right wrist and pivots 45 while sliding up Uke's arm with the left hand. Ste pivots 270 degrees to the rear while taking Uke to a prone position on the mat. Release Uke's grip, place the arm on the mat, and control the wrist and elbow while applying the osai. In this technique, Uke is controlled with Ikajo Osai when he grasps the shoulder and pulls. From Mige Hami Kamai, Shtein Uke shuffle and Uke grabs Shtein's shoulder with his right hand and pulls. Shtein moves to the side, grabs Uke's hand, shuffles forward as he slides up Uke's arm, shuffles forward, cuts down. The left hand moves to the elbow, cross steps back with the rear foot, cross up again from the rear foot, taking Uke to the mat, release Uke's grip, place the arm on the tatami, and apply the Ikajo pin. Uke grabs Shtei's shoulder with the palm facing down and pulls. Moving with Uke's pull, Shtei moves his left hand in a circular motion while he applies an atemi with his right back fist. Shtei grabs Uke's hand, keeping it in contact with his shoulder. He shuffles forward as he slides up Uke's arm with his left hand to break Uke's balance. Shuffling forward again, Shtei cuts down his left hand. Grabs Uke's elbow and keeping contact with the shoulder, steps him with the back foot towards Uke's armpit. Steps forward again with the right foot, taking Uke to the mat. Releases Uke's grip, places the arm in the right knee on the tatami and controls the wrist and the elbow and applies the osai. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position. From Mige Hami Kamai, Shte Nuke shuffle in and perform Seiza Ho. Uke grabs Shte's shoulder and pulls. Shte moves with the pull to the side while applying a temi, grabs Uke's hands, moves forwards and slides up Uke's arm. Slides shuffles forward again and cuts down, grabs the elbow, moves the left knee towards the armpit, the right knee moves forward, break the grip, place the arm in the tatami and pin. Uke grabs Shtei's shoulder as in the standing technique. Shtei moves his left hand and left knee to the side while applying a temi. Shtei grabs Uke's hand, moves forward and slides up Uke's elbow, moves the right knee forward again and cuts down. Grabs Uke's elbow, steps in with the left knee, steps forward with the right, breaks Uke's grip, places the arm on the tatami and applies the ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with Ikajo Osai using a pivoting and shifting movement when Uke grabs the shoulder and pushes. From Hidari Gekko Hami Kamai, Shte and Uke shuffle in. Uke grabs Shte's shoulder as in the number one technique. As Uke pushes, Shte moves to the side, applies to the temi, pivots 45 degrees, slides up Uke's arm, pivots 180 degrees, shifts his weight down, taking Uke to the mat, releases the shoulder, puts the right knee and the arm down at the same time, and applies the Ikajo pin.
Duke grasped his shoulder as in a number one technique. Moon with Duke's push, stay moves to the side while applying an atemi. Slide up the arm. Pivot 180 degrees to break Uke's balance. Shift the weight forward to take Uke to the mat. Release the grip. Place the arm on the mat and apply the Ika dual side. This is the same technique but performed from a sitting position. From me, I hum ikmai, stay in uke shuffle in and perform seiza hole. Uke grabs stays shoulder and pushes. Stay moves to the side, applies an atemi, pivots while sliding up uke's arm. Pivoting on the left knee 270 degrees to the rear, taking uke to the mat, release the arm, put the arm in the mat, and apply the ikajo pin. As uke pushes, stay moves his left knee and left arm to the side while applying an atemi. Shte grabs Uke's hand and pivots 45 degrees while sliding up Uke's arm. Then Shte pivots on the left knee 270 degrees to the rear while taking Uke to the mat. Release the arm, control the wrist and elbow, and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is in controlled with the Ikajo Osai when Uke grabs both Shte's wrists from behind and pulls. From Migi Aihami Kamai, shuffle in. For Oshiro Waza techniques, we use the preliminary Hojo Dosa movement. Uke strikes at Shite's head and Shite blocks. Then Shite punches Uke's side with a straight punch and Uke cuts down. Then Uke moves behind Shite and grabs both wrists at the hips. Moving with Uke's pull, Shite shifts to the side with the hands curling up. The hands raise up in a circular motion and changing the legs, Shite moves to a low position, pulls the right foot up, grabs the elbow, and moves the left foot forward, cutting Uke to the mat. Step in towards Uke's armpit. Step in again, taking Uke to the mat. Place the knee and the arm on the mat and apply Ikajo pin. After Hojo Dosa, Uke circles around Shite to grab Shite's wrist and pulls. As Uke pulls, Shite shifts on his back to the side with the hands curling up. Both hands circle up in a circular motion to Uke's forehead, bringing Uke up on his toes. Change the feet and move the back leg back in a diagonal direction as the hands cut down to chest height. Pull the back foot to the front as the right hand grabs Uke's elbow. Move forward while cutting the arm down in a circular motion. The left hand moves towards the thumb to break Uke's grasp and to grab Uke's hand. Move forward again, taking Uke to the mat. Once more, taking Uke to a prone position. Place the arm and the knee on the tatami and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo technique using a pivoting and shifting movement when grasping both of Shite's wrists from behind and pushes.
from Migi Aihami Kamai, shuffle in and perform the Hojo Dosu movement. Luke circles behind and grabs Shay's wrists and pushes. Moving from the front leg, move the whole body forward. Circle the hands up in a circular motion. Pivot on the back leg forward, over 180 degrees to face Uke, grab the elbow. Pivoting on the front knee, 180 degrees to the rear, take Uke to the mat. Put the right knee and the arm down on the tatami and apply the Ika Jo side. As Uke pushes, move the whole body forward from the front foot as the hands curl up. Move the rear leg forward in a circular motion over 180 degrees and face Uke and grab Uke's elbow from underneath. As Shte pivots 180 degrees to the rear, the left hand naturally grabs Uke's wrist to break his balance. Shte shifts his weight, taking Uke to the mat, places the arm and knee on the mat at the same time, controls the wrist and elbow, and applies the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo technique when Uke grasps one wrist and the collar from behind and pulls. From Migi Ahami Kamai, Shite Uke shuffle in and perform the Hojo Dosu movement. Uke moves behind and grabs the left wrist and the right collar. Shite shifts, raises the hands, changes the feet, applies a temi, brings the back foot forward, grabs the elbow, shuffles forward, it cuts down. Steps in with the back leg, sticks in with the back leg again, taking Uke to the mat, puts the arm on the mat and applies the Ikajo Osai. As Uke moves behind, he grabs the wrist and collar and pulls. Shite shifts on the front foot and curls the hands up. Raises the hands, changes the feet, moves diagonally backwards in a strong position, applies the temi, moves the front foot forward, grabs the elbow, cuts down, steps in, steps in again, taking Uke to a prone position, places the arm on the tatami and applies the ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo technique using a pivoting and shifting movement when grasping one wrist and the collar from behind and pushing. From Migi Aihami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and perform the Hodo Dosu movement. Uke moves behind, grabs the wrist and collar and pushes. Shite moves forward, circle the hands up, raise the hands in a circular motion, pivot over 180 degrees, punch, grab Uke's elbow, pivot 180 degrees to the rear, shift, taking Uke to the mat, put the arm and the knee down on the tatami and apply the Ikajo pin. Uke moves behind and grabs in the same way as the number one technique. As Uke pushes, Shite moves his whole body forward from the front foot, raises the hands and then circles hands up to the forehead, turns over 180 degrees, punches, grabs the elbow, pivots 180 degrees, shift, taking Uke to the mat, place the armor and the knee down on the tatami and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo technique when grasping stage collar from behind and pulls.
From me, I hum me kamai, stay in uke shuffle in and perform the hojo dosu movement. Uke moves behind and grabs stay call with his right hand and pulls. Moving the front foot diagonally back, stay raises both hands, pivots back, punches, moves forward, grabs uke's elbow, shuffles forward, steps in, steps in again, taking uke to the mat, puts the arm on the tatami and applies the ikajo pin. Perform the hojo dosu movement, Uke grabs the collar and pulls. Moving with Uke's pull, the front foot moves diagonally to the rear as both hands are raised in a circular motion with the right hand above the forehead and the left hand back towards Uke. Keeping the weight strongly on the right foot, the left foot pivots back into a low position and the left hand applies a, an atemi punch to Uke's side while the hands circle down in a circular motion stopping at chest height. The back foot is pulled up as the left hand moves to Uke's elbow from underneath, then shuffle forward and break Uke's grip and cut down. As Uke's hand comes off the collar, it's grabbed by Shte's right hand. Cross step in with the left foot towards Uke's armpit. One step more, taking Uke to the mat, put the arm on the tatami and apply the ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai technique when grasping Shite's collar from behind and pushing. From Migi Ai Hami Kamai, Shite and Uke shuffle in and perform the Hojo Dosu movement. Uke moves behind, grabs the collar and pushes. Shite shuffles forward, raising, curling the hands. Raising the hands in a circular motion, pivot over 180 degrees, apply a temi with both hands. Grab Uke's elbow with the left hand, pivot 360 degrees on the front foot and shift, taking Uke to the mat and apply the Ikajo pin. Uke moves in a circular motion, grabs the collar and pushes. Shite moves the whole body forward, curling the hands up, raising the hands in a circular motion, pivoting over 180, punching with both hands. The right hand punches for Uke's face, the left hand punches for Uke's side. Grabbing the, the elbow from underneath, pivot 360 degrees on the front foot, taking Uke's off balance, taking him to the mat with a shifting motion, putting the arm on the mat and apply a ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo technique when grabbing both Uke's elbows from behind and pulling. From Migi Ahami Kamai, shuffle in and perform Hojo Dosa. Uke moves behind and grabs Shite's both elbows. Shite shifts with the pull, moves back diagonally, pulls her front foot in, grabs the elbow, steps forward and takes the arm off, steps in towards Uke's armpit, steps in again, taking Uke to the mat, and applies the Ikajo pin. Uke moves behind Shite after the Hojo Dosa movement and grabs both elbows strongly and pulls. Shite shifts and raises the elbows while he moves, then cross steps back diagonally, circling the hands down to chest height. Brings the foot up and grabs Uke's elbow from underneath and shuffles forward. When Uke's hand comes off Shite's elbow, Shite grabs Uke's hand. Cross step in towards Uke's armpit, taking Uke down. Once more, taking Uke to the mat, 
Put the elbow and the wrist down and apply the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai technique using a pivoting and shifting motion when grabbing both Uke's elbows from behind and pushing. From Migi Ai Han Mikamai, shuffle in and perform the Hojo Dosu movement. Uke moves behind, grabs the elbows and pushes. Move the whole body forward, raising the elbows. Bring the back foot around over 180 degrees, grab the elbow. Pivot 180 degrees, shift, take Uke to the mat, put the arm down and apply the Ikajo pin. Uke moves behind, grabs the elbows and pushes. Moving with Uke's push, raise the elbows in a circular motion, pivot the back leg around and face over Uke while pivoting over 180 degrees. Grab Uke's elbow with the right hand, keep contact with the left. As the Uke's hand comes off, grab with the left hand, pivot and shift, take Uke to the mat, place the elbow on the tatami and apply the pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai technique when grabbing both stays shoulders from behind and pulls. From Migi Aihami Kamai, shuffle in, perform the Hojo Dosu movement. Uke moves behind and grabs both Shite's shoulders and pulls. Shite moves with the pull and shifts, changes the feet, moves the back foot back diagonally, punches, brings the front foot up, grabs the elbow, moves forward, cuts down Uke's arm, steps in towards Uke's armpit, steps in again, taking Uke to the mat, places the arm on the tatami, and applies the Ikajo pin. Uke moves behind and grabs both Uke's shoulders on top, grabs strongly and pulls. Shite shifts with Uke's pulling movement as the arms circle forward, moving the shoulders forward, move the back leg back in a diagonal position. Apply a turn to Uke's side as the back foot comes up, grab Uke's elbow from underneath, shuffle forward and cut Uke's arm down. As Uke's hand comes off Shite's shoulder, Shite grabs Uke's hand with his left hand, steps in with the right foot towards Uke's armpit, steps in again, taking Uke to the mat, and applies the Ikajo pin. In this technique, Uke is controlled with the Ikajo Osai technique when grabbing both Shite's shoulders from behind and pushing. From Aihami Kamai, shuffle in and perform Hojo Dosa. Uke moves behind and grabs both Shite's shoulders and pushes. Moving with Uke's push, Shite shuffles forward and circles the arm forward, brings the back foot around over 180 degrees to face Uke, punches, grabs Uke's elbow, pivots 180 degrees, then shifts, taking Uke to the mat, places the arm in the tatami, and performs the Ikajo Osai.
As Uke grabs and pushes, she shuffles forward from the front foot, and both arms move forward in a circular motion, moving the elbows forward and the shoulders moving forward. From the back foot pivot over 180 degrees to face Uke, punch with the right hand to Uke's side, then grab Uke's elbow from underneath. Pivot 180 degrees to the rear, at breaking Uke's balance while grabbing the left hand. Shift, take Uke to the mat, place the arm on the tatami, and pin.